Have you ever taken one of those personality tests that tells you exactly what career you would be suited for? Well, this video has nothing to do with that. Computing can be applied to all sorts of disciplines, including things like management, uh, anthropology, geology, healthcare, um, even multiple areas of law enforcement. But what I'm going to be talking about today are the specific disciplines within the field of computing itself. This includes computer science, which is the typical one most people think of, but then we also have computer engineering, software engineering, information science, information technology, and we also have two relative newcomers, data science and cybersecurity. Every so often, there's two organizations, ACM, the Association for Computing Machinery, and IEEE, the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers. They get together and they put together recommendations for curriculum that address each one of these disciplines, each one of these con uh, concentrations. And they publish it in a document that allows us as faculty to take a look and make sure that our work in the classroom fits with what the industry is looking for. In an older report in 2005, they put together a problem space that made kind of a graph that showed kind of this the breadth of each one of these disciplines. Now in this problem space, on the bottom axis, they really took theoretical up to application. And when I'm talking about application, we're talking about things like deployment and configuration. You know, so there's your range. You know, are we actually physically putting things together or are we just playing around with the theory? What sort of theory can we do to optimize whatever algorithm or process we're trying to do? Now, on the vertical axis, we had the low level hardware at the bottom. And up to the top, you're looking at people the organizations, and just basic information, all right? And what we're looking at is each one of the disciplines kind of place themselves in a different place in this, in this, um, uh, in, in this uh, problem space. Five of the disciplines, the computer science, the computer engineering, the software engineering, the information science, and the information technology, they were all part of the 2005 report when this problem space was presented. Two of the newcomers, data science and cybersecurity, really were not included, so you're actually going to get Dave's interpretation of where they fit in this problem space. Now, let's start with computer science. Now, most of my students are computer science students, uh, just because of, of the, the where area that I, I teach in. Um, I had a chair, department chair, that once referred to them as industrial strength programmers, meaning that you give them a problem to solve and they will come up with the uh, they will come up with the solution in software. But I think it goes even a little bit further than that because they are the the computer science. They're very good at um, taking basic concepts. So we're talking about theoretical stuff, basic concepts, and applying them in order to come up with algorithms and computing solutions. So when you're looking at, say, a, a computer science student or a computer science professional, usually they kind of operate, and this is coming from the curriculum that, um, the curriculum recommendations from ACM and IEEE, they're looking at kind of this region where we're looking at, and make sure that my colors are matching up correctly here, this area right here in the middle is really software development. And so the computer science student is going to be good at developing software, and they're very good at understanding the fundamentals, the, the mathematics, the, the alg algorithms type, the processes in order to solve a problem with software spending more time on the theoretical side. I probably haven't drawn this far enough over. You may actually be looking at coming closer over to application, but this is a really good representation for what the computer science student might be looking at. Let's look at the next one, computer engineering. This is my area. 
because I love the low level hardware stuff. I love the really getting down into the bits and pieces. You know, there's a reason why I like programming an assembly language because I like that low level stuff. Not necessarily because I'm going to do all of the projects, all my implementations in assembly language, but I like to know what the fun, you know, what the fundamental hardware is doing. And so you're looking at both areas of theoretical and applied, but leaning a lot toward the theoretical stuff. If if you're looking at what the ACM IEEE recommendation was, they kind of drew a, 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 an area of influence whenever it comes to computer engineering of this kind of, we stick to the low level stuff and we will shift back and forth between the theory and also taking the theory and moving to the application, but we really like sticking to the lower part of this problem space. I have a good friend, Jeff, who really stays on top of the latest software development practices, uh, best practices, testing procedures. Uh, even if he does put his curly braces in the wrong place, uh, he is very much about maintaining the latest processes in order to develop software. This is software engineering. And as far as the ACM IEEE is concerned, we're not talking low level stuff. It's like the computer engineer moved up to the software area, to the software development. And this area is where Jeff fits perfectly. And in fact, I think of Jeff, I don't know what he thinks of himself as, but I think of Jeff as the perfect software engineer basically working really hard both on the theoretical and to the application side in terms of making sure that we are developing software optimally. My friend Steven is a people person. He loves solving problems for people and organizations, individuals and organizations, using data and information collected from all sorts of sources. He's not really, he's definitely not into the low level hardware stuff. He does, he is very good at developing software, but what he likes doing is putting together systems in order to solve problems for people and organizations. So, what we're looking at here is kind of a diagram or a problem space that looks like this. So he's heavily in the application side and very much north of this graph in terms of solving problems for people, organizations, and generating or, or manipulating information. According to the ACM IEEE curriculum recommendations, this matches perfectly with the information sciences, the IS concentration, which is the discipline that Stephen currently is in. Now, my friend Laura, she has found her calling in information technology, IT. It's perfect for her heart for service. She loves to, to be able to provide services to help people out. She really focuses mostly on the application side because what she's doing is maintaining the infrastructure and configuring the infrastructure in order to help people. So once again, we're looking at people and organizations and information, and information but more, more, less on the theoretical side and more on the application side. The ACM IEEE document looks at that sort of pattern. So as soon as you start really liking to be on the application side and helping people, being of service to people, that is the perfect place for the information technology professional. Now, my friend Jessie, she's a data science geek. This data science profession is perfect for her because what she loves is coming up with ways, theories, mathematical applications, applying statistics and so forth into solving problems. And so she looks less on the application side and a little bit more on the theoretical side. This matches up with what my experience has been with the data science profession. Now, the data science profession, that was not part of the 2005 report from ACM IEEE. But it doesn't mean we can't make a really educated guess to show what that Pro, what their what their breadth would be in this problem space. It kind of looks a little bit like IS. Remember, IS came across and dipped down so that there was a it was heavy on the application side. I look at the data science as being the same sort of of expertise, except a little bit heavier on the theoretical side. Very heavy into math, very heavy into statistics, loving the theory about how we can take huge amounts of data, how we can maintain, store, and retrieve huge amounts of data and be able to process them in order to come up with the computing solution.
the cybersecurity mapping in this problem space also was not in the IEEE ACM report. It was a little harder for me to pin down, for me to figure out how would I draw this problem space here? Well, I have a good friend, Mike. He is all about security. He is all about this sense of justice, right and wrong, and making sure things are done right. And it has a lot to do with making sure that not only are the processes, the people, the organizations, and info, and so forth, not only are those processes working properly in our organizations, but finding the tools and putting together the procedures in order to make keep us safe. He has a, both a knowledge, a theoretical and application-wise for things like operating systems, uh, virtual private networks, the networking, uh, cloud computing, antiviruses, and firewalls. Once again, both theoretical and applied. But the, uh, the, since the attacks are happening on our physical stuff, then leaning just slightly a little bit towards application. So what I thought of whenever I was going to draw this, I thought, well, okay, we we'll definitely have to be up in the people in the organizations whenever it comes just like IT up here. But we also need to grab a little bit of software development and so forth because the, not only are we IT, but we also really have a lot of flavor of CS um, in, in our uh, use of computers. And so I kind of thought it, th this is kind of the biggest problem space because I think cybersecurity really has the most to worry about under the belt. Once again, I thought about Mike and thought about all the things that he, he needs to know and be aware of whenever it comes to performing his job. That's what I came up with. I realize that I have done kind of a backwards application of that problem space from the ACM IEEE curriculum recommendation report, but I think it was a good opportunity for me, I don't know, to get an idea of how to recommend which field for students to go into, and hopefully it has helped you. Remember that the 2005 curriculum report did not have the data science or the cybersecurity. That was based entirely on my experience. If you have additional comments about maybe how you would have set up the problem space differently for those two uh, disciplines, please put a comment down in the uh, comment section. I will also, in the description, give you the, uh, the web address in order to access these reports if you're interested in taking a look at them yourself. Until then, remember that while computing may be immense, it's all just ones and zeros.